So for dynamic creative ads, Meta have removed the functionality to view Facebook posts with comments and then go and retrieve the top post ID combinations from your dynamic creative ad tests. And what they're showing instead is this like um, dynamic container of your text, your headline, your description, and then the image that is the default image of your website. So I have shown you in a previous video, a long way of getting around this and going and grabbing the post IDs of any of your dynamic creative ad combinations. But I do now have for you a shortcut that will save you a ton of time. So shout out to Timothy from my course who brought this to my attention. And one thing that you need to keep in mind is this is not going to work for every account. It does not work for all of my accounts, but if it does work for your account, you know, it's going to save you a lot of time. If it doesn't, you just have to do the long route. Okay. Until meta give us further notice. So what you want to do is come to the ad, your dynamic creative ad, and then you're going to hit the edit button here, come to the top right hand side and you'll see three dots horizontally in a square. You want to click on that, come down to more options and manage Facebook posts, manage Facebook comments, sorry, is going to pop up. Click on that and it's gonna bring up a preview. So in this particular account, my demonstration account, it doesn't actually work, but I wanted to show you the method. Now I will show you proof that this does work, okay? So come into this other account. Again, we've got a dynamic creative ad here. Come to the top right-hand side, more options, manage Facebook comments, let it load. And you see an ad has popped up with all of the different engagement. So one very important thing to keep in mind with this method, this is only ever gonna bring up one ad. You add with the highest engagement, I think, okay? So unlike the previous method where it bring up any ad that had engagement, this is only gonna bring up the one that has the most engagement, never a second ad. So you have to be very careful if you're in the situation where maybe you had two ads that are performing well, um, and you wanted to take both of them, you're gonna to have to go get that second ad via the long route. But more importantly, if you have, if you've done this, this uh, process quite early in your testing and you know, ads have like similar amounts of spend, but one might have more engagement, but actually has less spend. Well, it's probably gonna appear here, but might not necessarily, necessarily be your best ad bringing your performance, okay? So you need to watch that. You might have to go and find that in the long ray way or you simply just leave the test running longer because over enough time, the one that is getting the most spend is gonna you know, move away from the pack and it's always gonna be the one with the most engagement, okay? So yeah, I hope that helps. I would say to everyone still, you know, keep speaking to Meta Support, <laughs> bringing this to their attention. I've gone through them, I've tried to explain the problem. They just think we don't understand uh, what we're doing, but they have said that this was an intentional change and yeah, uh, we found this workaround, but for now, it doesn't look like the view Facebook post with comments is coming back. Maybe in the future, there'll be an alternative thing that they introduced, but I think at this point it's probably unlikely. Um, and for now, this is gonna do. So if you like this video, it's been helpful. Give the channel subscribe. I've got more tutorials, more strategy stuff mainly, but there is a few tips like this on how to actually deal with the platform. And yeah, you can also check out my Facebook ads course in the description if you want to master Facebook ads for e-commerce and really scale your brand fast. So until the next video, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.